Yo, what's up guys? I'm going to talk to you guys today about Nazca. And so this video is for anybody who is interested in visiting Nazca to see the Nazca lines, perhaps because there's really not a whole lot you can do in the city besides the Nazca lines, besides you can see some ruins or a well, you can see that in Nazca. But the main thing to see in Nazca is, of course, the Nazca lines. And so I'm making a video today to give you guys a guide on how to see the Nazca lines the cheapest and most efficient way. Okay, and so here's what the town of Nazca itself looks like. It's a very beautiful town. Um, it may not be the nicest town in Peru, but it's a, it's in the middle of the desert, and so it's doing pretty well given that it's in the middle of the desert. So a little bit more of what the town itself looks like. And so, you know, if you're going to Nazca, you're probably going there to see the Nazca lines, right? And so here's what the airport itself looks like from the outside. It's a very small airport. Um, I will talk with you guys and share with you guys how to get the best um, prices on the tickets for the Nazca lines. But I'm just showing you guys some pictures starting off with that. Okay, so a little bit, there's what the inside of the airport itself looks like. This is what you're going to have to wait in while you are waiting to go up in your airplane. Okay, and so there's lots of different companies as you can see. Um, I will talk more about that and getting the best price. Just showing you guys some pictures um, just right off the top of my head. Um, this is something that you will need to add into your price for your airplane ticket. So I will talk about the prices for the tickets, but you will have to add in another 25 soles. And so that's the very bare minimum of what you would have to pay if you were to get a free airplane ticket somehow you still have to pay this 25 sole tax so add that on to the prices that i will share with you okay so that's a little bit of information on the airplane or airport here's what the airplane itself looks like there's only six people that can fit inside the airplane so it's a very small airplane and um you know, obviously you're not going to get the cheapest tickets in the world because this is a very popular thing, seeing the Nazca lines, okay? And so here's what the inside of the airplane looks like, you know, very cramped. It's only about a half hour flight and a half hour experience that you get to see the Nazca lines. And so here's what it looks like taking off, okay? So here's actually some of the lines itself, okay? So here's the whale. I'm going to show you guys uh, specifically which ones you get to see in a second here. I'm just showing you some a rundown of what it looks like. Okay, and so here's actually a line right here. You cannot see it. And one of the things that is um, kind of frustrating about the Nazca lines is that you can't really take good pictures unless you got a good camera, a really good camera. You're going to have a difficult time taking pictures because these are ancient guys. They don't even know how old these lines are. They actually didn't even discover them until somebody was in an airplane and flew over it in 1939, something like that, that year. Okay, so it was really recently that these were actually found, okay? And so, like I said, you can't really see them unless you see them from the sky. And they didn't even discover them until 1930-something. Okay, but if you're going to go, don't bring a camera. That's, I guess, the gist of what I'm saying. Unless you have a really good camera, you're probably not going to be able to take pictures. You're, they're going to look like this, okay? <laughs> and so here's that same um, same uh, line closer up. This one is what they call the astronaut. Very interesting. Same one, again. And so here's actually all the lines that you will get to see. Obviously, this picture is better than the ones I have. And so that's all the lines that you get to see. It's a very fun experience. It's only about 30 minutes, like I said. So it's not the longest experience in the world. But, you know, if you're a history person, it's something you don't want to miss. Okay. And so that's that. It's a little bit more than Nazca lines. Woo. It's a very fun experience. Um, if you do want to be more on the budget side, this right here. This is actually a tower, which allows you to see at least a couple of the Nazca lines, and so you'll get a gist of what they look like. Okay, so that's another way you can do it if you don't want to take the airplane. Obviously, you get a nice little certificate. Cool, cool, woo-woo, and then you'll be back in town by nighttime to have a good time in the city of Nazca. Okay, and so that's what the experience looks like, and so let's talk a little bit now about price, how to get there, what it's going to cost. Okay, and so odds are, if you're watching this video, and you are looking to travel to Nazca, you are already in Peru, and you just need to find a way over to Nazca. Okay, so odds are you're either in Cusco or Lima. You can just take one bus from Cusco to Nazca. It'll be about $40. That's the way that I did it. The other way of doing it would just be taking one Colectivo to another Colectivo to another Colectivo to another Colectivo all the way to Nazca. Okay, so that's one way you could do it. Is just taking one bus or a collection of Colectivos. If you want to be super budget, maybe save a few dollars, you can do it that way. Or you can just take one bus. Or um, if you are traveling from Lima, the, the best way to do it from Lima is actually to... Here, let me zoom in a little, 
a little bit right here. Okay, so if you're traveling from Lima, um, the, what, the way you're going to do it to get the cheapest price is you're just going to take a Colectivo from Lima all the way to Ica. And Ica is probably a place that you might want to stay the night at. I don't know, but it will be about 30, 30 soles, 30 to 40 soles for your Colectivo from Lima to Ica. Okay, so when I did it, I actually was traveling from Cusco to Nazca, to Ica, to Lima, so I did it backwards, so I'm not exactly sure what the price would be going this way for the collective, but that's a good way to do it, okay? Okay, and now prices, the airplane ticket. Okay, so if you are paying in dollars, you're going to have to pay about 130 US dollars, okay? So it's a pretty good price. You might be able to get it for as low as $100 or $75, but like I was saying, um, there's a lot of people who are interested in the Nazca lines, and so any given day, let me go back to the airport and show you guys what I'm talking about. Any given day, in my experience, this is what the airport will look like, okay? And so as you're walking around the airport, um, you'll see all of these different companies, okay? And so what they're actually doing is selling airplane tickets, okay? And so if you want to get the cheapest price on your Nazca lines tickets, you do not want to buy them online. You do not want to buy them in another city. You want to go straight to Nazca, straight to the Nazca airport, and then you will have the most competition between the people who actually sell them at the Nazca airport without the middle bid competitors, okay? So like I said, 75 to 130, depending on the day that you want to go, and that's in dollars, okay? So in Soles, 250 to what? 400 in that range, okay? So that's the Nazca lines. Um, that's the cheapest way to see them. And like I said, if you are traveling um, and you are a photographer, you want to make sure that you have a really, really, really good camera or just enjoy the ride, okay? Because odds are you might not be able to see them as well as you would, okay? But that's that. That's the Nazca lines. Um, if you guys have any more ideas, any more comments in how to make this cheaper or better, please add them into the comments below. I just want to help other travelers to have a good experience, okay? So that's the cheapest way to see Nazca, and those are all the tips I have for you. So I hope you guys are having a good day. Peace.